What did I just say? Where is this located? In the Yangtze River. Okay, y'all were paying attention. It's in China in the Yangtze River. So why, why is it so special? What's up with this dam? Why do we care? It, it does have three dams. What, it's the biggest dam in the whole entire world. Excuse me, why is it called the Yangtze Dam in China? It's, it's called the Yangtze. I'm just not pronouncing it right. Yangtze. We'll see the spelling in a minute. You're going to be like... So, what What do we already know about dams? Can I get a volunteer from table two? It's So, Kyrie said some dams start floods. It's great. Natalia, what else do dams do? Oh, they... They collect water, so we know they start floods. They have something to do with water. Dalen. Oh, they produce hydroelectric power. Dalen, you are on the next level. Johnny and Tyrese, do you have anything to add? I was going to say the. You were going to say the hydroelectric power? Awesome job, y'all. So, on the same paper that you did your do now, I will give you one and a half minutes, or rather, I'll give y'all two minutes. Quietly and with your group, draw a dam on one of the papers, okay? So I want you to make sure you figure out what the water looks like in the back of the dam, what the water looks in the front of the dam, and where the water is flowing, okay? You can draw an arrow to show me where the water is flowing. So how many minutes are y'all going to have? Three. Two minutes. Two minutes. And what are y'all going to be doing? Draw You're going to draw a dam. What do I want in that picture? You can draw any dam. What do I want in that picture? I want to see the water flow and what the water looks like in the back and the front. What? The, the, what, what the water looks like in the back of the dam and the front of the dam. Okay, so you will have two minutes starting now. And if you're confused how to draw it, you could look up at the board. There is an example up there. I see Celeste and Natalia are drawing a dam. Boys in table two are drawing a dam. I was about to call you all table one. One. So this is one, this is two, this is three. Is that the new wall? Diana and Dalen are drawing dams. Natalia and Celeste are drawing a dam. Johnny, Kyrie, and Jairis are drawing pretty detailed dams. Loving the artistry in here. Got about 40 seconds left. Let's start wrapping up our drawing. on me everybody. Pencils down. Pencils down. Eyes on me. Heads up please. Thank you ladies. So one silent hand show me um, what your dam looks like. Just raise your raise your dam picture up. Could I see that dam, please? Awesome. So, 
Jairis has a wall, it looks like. And so his dam is made. So his dam is made of wood. And what what does the water look like in the back of the dam? It's supposedly going fast. It's going fast in the back of the dam. Is the is the water in the back higher or lower? Higher. Right. Look at this. The water is higher up here, and the water is flowing through the dam. Through the dam, and it's creating hydroelectric power, and the water is lower on the bottom. Awesome job. Do you all get that concept? So the water is higher on this end, it goes through, creates that power, right? What was the power called one more time? Hydroelectric, Hydroelectric <laughs> power, and it ends up on the bottom. Awesome, y'all. So let's do an activity. I know y'all are antsy to get up. I can see it in you. No. So, no. yes, you are. <laughs> Let's get up. So, if you think a dam is an adaption, go to the map side. And if you believe a dam is a modification, go to the cabinet side. Silently and quietly. I'm cold. <laughs> You think it's cabinet side or you're just, you think it's cabinet side. All right, well, we kind of understood that concept. So get into groups of three or four and for one minute, talk about quietly why you believe a dam is a modification. So one minute on the clock, go. <laughs> Thank you. 